Hello, class. The case that was assigned to me was Daniel versus Paul in 1969, case number 488. This case took place in um, Little Rock, Arkansas. The plaintiff was Daniel and the respondent was Paul. Um, the plaintiff, Daniel, was refused entrance to an amusement park, which was owned by Paul. Um, the park was called Lake Nixon Club. Um, the club was made up of 100 white patrons with a membership fee of 25 cents and was denied admission to all the African Americans. Um, so the petitioners in the community brought the action to class. They stated that the Lake Nixon Club is a public accommodation and violated the Title II of the Civil Rights Act of 16, of, sorry, of 1964 by refusing them admissions because they were blacks. Although admission was denied, the district court dismissed the complaint. Although not being a private club, it did not meet the public accommodation under the act. So the question was, does the club fall under a public accommodation? Both sides argued on how it was a public accommodation and vice versa. Some notes argued were that Lake Nixon Club, as the courts below correctly held, is not a private club since it routinely affords memberships to all whites and has none of the attributes of self-government and member ownership traditionally associated with the private clubs. Under 201 of the Act, since it is principally engaged in selling food for consumption of the premise, the snack bar is considered a public accommodation. Both courts ruled that the club is not a private club. It was a business that operated to make profit by charging a membership fee in which of the following of the Civil Rights Act in 1964, that's when Paul began to refer to the club as a private club, to deny admission to the blacks. Since the courts ruled that Lake Nixon is not a private club, the respondents did not challenge the conclusion.